good day good day good day good day yeah today i want to show you how to use this um, plugin or what it's for but basically it's called dynamic keyframes uh procedural animation system for Unreal engine 5. i'm going to show you how it works and uh, i'm going to show you um, cases where you might want to use it and uh, you can decide if you need it or you don't based on this video so let's get started right um, once you have the plugin installed uh, if you go into the content folder right here there's this blueprints folder and uh, there will be this item templates and then there will be example actors all right so item templates are just what they sound like they are procedural item scripts that you write once and then you can create um, procedural animation using them i'm going to show you an example so all of these are com uh, components and uh, there will be more as the plugin grows there'll be more templates so there's this uh, strike and template the inflate and flash of color so because our components um here are example actors that are using those templates okay i'll start with the strike and template this right here i'm going to drop it into the world and then show you what happened well what it's supposed to do okay so it's in the wall right now if i press the t key this uh, sphere will strike a location all right the strike location that this T key is uh, striking is um, it's uh, it's procedural. You can change it. You can change the strike uh, strike duration. You can change the return duration. Right? There's another template. Uh, this one, this actor right here, is using the it's using the um, inflate template. So if I press T again, it will inflate. So it's not about the T key. It's you can drive this with any event. I'll show you the blueprints right after this. And then we have the flesh and color one. If I do this and then I keep pressing the key, like you can see now we'll have a flesh and color, right? Yeah, these this is what I mean by procedural animation templates or a system to design um, procedural animation templates because all of the colors and the strike locations can be changed. Here's one more example that's uh, more advanced, all right? So so here this actor that i'm going to be um, dropping into the world is using the strike item template so this actor is using um this template right here the strike one the one that i just showed you uh with the with the green sphere so so you can see that these um components the sticks that are striking uh, the hi hat that one is striking the um, this one is striking the uh, the snare. Okay, so they are using those strike templates. So if I wanted to add like a kick drum here, I would still use the same template without having to rewrite the entire um, logic for doing that animation that strikes something and then returns. This is what the system is about. It's about um, providing templates or providing you a system to. Um, author your own templates okay so i'm going to explain it now not because i've shown why why you would want to use it um i'm going to go back into this one the one that strikes and um you can see that the only thing i've added here is this component the strike item template which is this component right here so i have an actor and then i've added the bp item strike template to it so bp item template all right there it is right here and then on begin play uh, in fact even before begin play usually these templates they'll have an event uh right here on location update right so if you were to add another template like um flesh and color and a template it'll have on color update so they define events you can bind to so that when they flash you can set color from this all right so when they flash you can set color or what have you that's what these templates do you don't have to worry about scripting the, the animation um, I'm going to explain the strike item template um, and what happens here on begin play uh, the, the example actor is we are getting the strike item template and then we are set in the return location all right the return location is where um, the sphere should um, or the animation template should return to after you strike your location and then you call a start that's it you put your anim template you set the properties 
there's other properties right here that you can set um, if you don't want things to be procedural but you want to edit them and detail panel you can set them here so this track location and then the retail location you can set them right here on the details panel or you can set them at runtime using uh, blueprint or you can select the and play and then you want to bind to the location uh, update so when a location updates you have to bind to it right and then you want to set the world location so the world the thing is you want to target something right here i'm targeting driven sphere that's what i'm doing i'm targeting the driven sphere which is um the screen sphere here that's the one i want to update so you can target pretty much anything because you have a location here this location code can go into anything you can target the the, the actor right so you can target uh the actor it doesn't have to be the driven sphere that's the thing I, uh, i'm trying to mention um in uh in our other example here the more advanced one the mullets you can see that on location update all right we have this one on location update we are targeting this aim control there's a rig element and you're targeting this aim control the aim control is a rig element so we are placing it directly so when the location updates every tick as the animation place we are setting that um aim control um well location so you can see that this location that you get here you can use it for anything it's not for rigs it's not like um, dedicated to rigs it's not dedicated to um anything else you can use it for widgets like animating widgets over time if you want to change the position of a widget over time you can drop that um, template in if you want to use it for animating niagara or materials so it's not specific to anything that's what the dynamic keyframes function is uh, plugin is for it's not specific to anything and you can add anything to it i wanted to emphasize that part so it's just that here i'm using it to drive a rig okay uh and one other thing about this driving rigs part is that um if you want to drive rigs from blueprints rather than from the animation blueprint from an actor blueprint rather than from the animation blueprint you can get this fun this uh this uh plugin here call game third rigs you access an mpp control rigs from blueprints and then uh, you can get that um, game thread rig and then set the world location that's a topic for another you can watch the entire tutorial for game thread rigs uh, another day so i'm just just showing you that this thing is very um diverse it doesn't target it there's not specific all right that's pretty much what you want to do you want to add your anim template if it's scale you want to add the scale um subscribe to its um delegates or events and then you might want to maybe set these these um these uh te these uh, these properties that it has okay so for example if we change to the uh, inflate anim template it has properties that it defines like um start scale stop scale this is how much it inflates uh the inflate duration the deflate scale the deflate duration and so on and so forth like if you go to the flashing color and the details panel you can see that it has a flashing color this is the colored flash and then the dim color because when you flash you want to go back to a dim color flash duration dim duration nothing fancy and then once you created your item task you want to add it to you to any actor okay so here's the flashing one bp flash and character i've set the flash color to blue and then on color update which is this function I'm changing the spotlight which is this one all right i'm changing the spotlight's color this one that's what these dynamic item uh, templates are for and that's what the system is so now the other point that i'll cover in another video is that you can create your other templates right you can create a strike one and also it's not only about two points you can create your own item templates using the system the system is basically about creating templates and then Creating them once and then using them forever. It's not about um, just you using the three templates, okay? But we still provide templates for you. You can create your own templates by following this. So watch the other tutorial about how to create your item your own item templates. Like you can create one based on spline so that you only write um, uh, spline located um, spline driven animations once. You get and then you can pretty much use this anim template anywhere you want to drive splines instead of just saying ah, let me add a timeline like what are you going to do if you have like a hundred splines you get the point i'm trying to make are you going to add a hundred timelines to your a actor 
or is it better and then script all of this for each of the hundreds no you want a script that works so this script already works for doing that and then you add it to to the actor 100 times or something through code okay this is what the plugin is about it's not about um anything really specific it's all it's all about driving things uh, procedurally and well,